Hi everyone. Today we are going to be talking about the parts of a fruit tree. What I want you to be able to do is instead of just seeing tree, I want you to be able to identify and name specific parts of this tree. I call it putting your tree eyes on because I want you to be able to have the confidence to identify small things and big things that are going on in your tree. So most every fruit tree is a combination of two different sets of genetics. At the bottom, from about six inches and down, is what's called your root stock. And that goes into the ground and grows the roots of your fruit tree. The top half of your tree, from about six inches and up, is technically called the scion. This can be referred to as the cultivar or variety of your tree as well. In general, just keep in mind that the bottom half of your tree, those genetics were selected for the roots, and the top half of your tree, those genetics were selected for the type of fruit your tree is going to make. Where those two different sets of genetics come together is called the graft union. It should be somewhere within the first six inches from the soil line and up, but sometimes it can be really hard to find and you don't really know exactly where it is. So here we have an easy to see graft union where you can see that there is a color and texture difference between the rootstock and where the scion starts. Above our graft union, we have our trunk. And from our trunk, it opens up into what are called scaffold branches. These thicker, stronger branches that are very important for structure and strength of our tree. And then towards the outside of our tree, we have what are called lateral branches. And these branches are more flexible, and it's where the majority of the fruit is going to happen on our tree. Where two branches come together is called the branch crotch. Whether we have two larger branches coming together, or two smaller branches coming together. From the smallest branches all the way down to your trunk, your fruit tree is covered in a protective layer called bark. <laughs> this bark can range in color from browns and grays to sometimes white, all depending on what type of fruit tree you have. Underneath the fruit tree bark is a thin green layer called cambium that is about a sixteenth of an inch thick. The cambium is the living circulatory system for the tree. <laughs> It moves nutrition and water gathered by the roots from the soil up into the tree. And it also takes energy made by the leaves through photosynthesis, takes it from out here, and distributes it down through the rest of the tree. On the smaller branches of your tree, there is a very important bud at the end of the branch called the terminal bud. I also like to call this bud the boss bud because it's in charge. During the fall right now, it's closed and dormant, but in the spring, it's going to open up, and when it does, it's gonna leave a little wrinkle wrinkle right here called the terminal bud scar, which if we follow this branch back, we see where the terminal bud grew from last year. And if we keep going, we see the year before that, this wrinkle wrinkle here. And then we also see all the way back to here. Another name for the terminal bud scar is branch collar, which can be easily seen where two branches come together. You can see it here, we can see it here, and what's important to recognize about the branch collar is that if a cut is made, it's the branch collar that starts to grow in a donut-like shape. So this is a really good example where we see the branch collar forming that donut shape to close where the cut was made. All of your fruit trees are gonna produce two different kinds of buds. They're gonna make vegetative buds and fruit buds, but sometimes it's really hard to tell which is which, and it can be a little bit difficult to identify what they look like. So I wanna show you on this branch here. This is an Asian pear tree, and you can see vegetative growth, new vegetative growth here, and the growth itself is more slender, it's lighter in color, and the vegetative buds are these more pointy, tiny buds that are hugged close to the branch. And we call them vegetative buds because they're not gonna make fruit or flowers. These buds are going to make branches and leaves. The fruiting buds for this Asian pear are gonna be further down here on the branch and they're gonna be on what are called fruit spurs. So notice that we have this short little branch here that's more stiff and sturdy and darker, kind of more gray in color. And at the end of the fruit spur is a fruiting bud. It is also possible to have more than one fruit bud on a fruit spur. Quick side note, we just talked about vegetative and fruit buds on this Asian pear tree, 
But if you walk up to a fig tree or a persimmon tree or a plum tree or a lot of other type of fruit trees, the vegetative buds and the fruit buds are going to be in slightly different places. There are two different types of new growth that I want you to be able to identify. <laughs> new vigorous growth coming from the soil, from your roots and your rootstock, this growth is called suckers. Whereas if new growth is coming from the branches or the trunk, this growth, these are called water sprouts. All right, everybody. Good job, that was a lot of information, but now you know the names and how to identify some of the key parts of your fruit tree. You probably also got some good new Scrabble words. These parts are gonna be helpful for you moving forward with caring for your fruit trees. So thank you so much for watching and good luck with your trees.